What's going on Beast community and also a big welcome today to the Beast Systems community. I know a lot of you will be joining us specifically for Sunny King today. So just to ex very briefly explain this video, it's a Q&A with the creator of Proof of Stake. Now Sunny King, uh, he created Peercoin, which was the first proof of stake blockchain. And now he's created a project called V Systems. So this interview, you will not see it anywhere online. Honestly, he just doesn't do interviews. So I hope all of you really enjoy it. Um, if you've got any questions, just leave them down below. This might get a little bit complicated. So I've tried to ask as questions which are quite simple and broad so all of you can get a better understanding of why he created POS also a better understanding of how blockchain developers mind works and most importantly at the end of the video we're going to get his opinion about what's going to happen to the industry so a really exciting one and I'll see you on the next one Good afternoon, Sunny King. Welcome to the Crypto Beast Show. How are you doing today? I am very well and thank you for having me on your show. So let's jump in to the first question. So you are the creator of POS. Now, without trying to ask too much of a broad question, tell us why you decided to create Proof of Stake. Satoshi's Proof of Work consensus was clearly a breakthrough, but it also has some serious limitations. From a technologist point of view, I generally didn't agree with the popular sentiment of many Bitcoin fans that it should be the be-all and end-all cryptocurrency. The scalability and security limitations had already reared its ugly head around 2011, when newly launched cryptocurrency networks were concerned with its own security against 51% attacks. It's not a problem for Bitcoin maximalist, but it's a scalability problem for the future of blockchain industry. On the other hand, energy is a big issue in my mind. Bitcoin's security is directly linked to its network energy consumption. This is a concern for both environmental and economical reasons. If it can be shown that the Bitcoin's approach is too wasteful, then we could open up a blockchain economy that is more efficient and prosperous. Fortunately we found a way in Peercoin's proof-of-stake consensus. This consensus system does not require energy consumption. I often make the analogy that if POW is like gold then POS is like paper money. It's not exactly the full picture but it conveys the idea. So I've been saying this for, for a very long time on my YouTube channel and I completely agree with what you said. Bitcoin, uh, as great as it is, it is the first and new technologies are going to come out and are going to be better. So uh, great answer and I'm very happy with that. Now let's move on to the next question. Now what I really want to know is how SPOS will outweigh proof of work and Bitcoin's blockchain. V Systems S Supernode Proof of Stake Consensus, SPOS, is a recent design of POS with the focus on security and high performance. It's quite possibly orders of magnitude more secure against 51% attacks than POW with the features of cold minting and stake liquidity. Cold minting means you don't need to leave your coins online in a hot wallet in order to participate in minting. Stake liquidity means that stake that participates in minting is not withheld or locked by the system in any way, you can always immediately withdraw it and use it as currency. These two features encourage maximum participation in minting thus extremely high level of security. Similar to POS, SPOS also doesn't need to consume energy for the consensus so it's very efficient. The problems with 51% attacks for POW is getting more and more prominent. We know that top 20 coins have already been attacked this way. The authors of this BIS paper apparently agree. They believe even Bitcoin might be realistically vulnerable to it in the coming years. Yes, I completely agree. I think right now the topic of 51% attacks, the topic of quantum computing, uh, the to topic of current blockchain technology is, is, is the priority to a lot of people. So I, I've been talking to you know some of the other YouTubers and, and some investors and traders and a lot of people are concerned about the strength of current blockchain. So you know if POS and SPOS can deliver a more secure blockchain, then that's only a good thing and that is looking into the future. So going on to the third question, now you stated that uh, blockchain is easy, we just need to use it like a database. Now um, obviously me and you both agree that blockchain is easy in some factors but in some it's not. Now what I want to discuss is V Systems and how its blockchain is going to help new users and new uh, industries who are looking to enter the blockchain basically do so. I wouldn't say blockchain is easy, it appears to be so to some extent but we are building on the shoulders of a giant, 
but it will get easier along the way I am sure. Clearly blockchain as the current state is not yet ready to challenge existing database industry. V-Systems is aiming to change that, to make it more competitive to existing database technologies. There are two aspects of the challenge, how to make it more amenable to average programmer, and how to make the system economically more competitive to existing database technologies. So yeah V-Systems is working on both fronts toward the ultimate goal of making blockchain challenge existing database technologies. Exactly. So currently, literally what we're doing, we're competing with current uh, database technologies. And I think it's going to take for companies within the blockchain industry to partner up with companies who are not at the moment and to bring them into the industry, creating real tokenized environments. Uh, I did a video recently about your, your recent partnership. Uh, I suggest everybody who's not watched it to check it out. It's pretty good in regards to the way they've structured the economy and it's a vpn service for those of you who don't know called take on check it out um because i could i could speak all day about it really um so let's move on to the next question now i did a blog post recently about your uh updated roadmap and in the roadmap it stated i believe in point five that you're going to be developing uh the decentralized mobile internet what can you tell us about that? Clearly in our time the mobile interface has taken over more and more user time. So it is taking more of a front seat in terms of the internet experience. People are ever more connected through the internet, the social networks, the virtual worlds. So in terms of decentralization becoming a core tenet of the next generation of internet experience, we are also considering our strategy here to accommodate these changes. When it comes to mobile and the decentralized internet, I couldn't agree more. It's it's one of the most exciting topics that I want to know more information about. So I'm going to look forward to any updates from V-Systems about that. Now, the last question I want to ask is completely off topic and it's just about your opinion in regards to what's going to happen in the blockchain world, in the blockchain industry in the next five years. And I want you to answer me this question without saying it's going to be more adopted or accepted. Regardless of price fluctuation of cryptocurrencies, we know that blockchain technology is here to stay. The market clear has spoken, that it has a lot of appetite for decentralization. We believe that blockchain will become the core part of the global internet infrastructure. It will become one of the engines to power the internet, an engine that emphasizes decentralization and free market rather than central power and control. So it is a force that advocates for more freedom to the world. Of course it's not all rosy, as we know more freedom also calls for more responsibility. But we are optimistic, it's dawning a new era for our civilizations. So there we go. As promised, a Q&A with the creator of Proof of Stake. I've tried to make this interview as fun as possible for everybody. I hope you've stuck around and watched till the end and enjoyed this very interesting and very exclusive interview. I'm gonna to try to deliver more videos just like these. Let me know who you want me to interview in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to reach out to the individuals that you want answers from within the industry. But for now, this has been Crypto Beast. All the best. Bye bye.